thank you for this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today that you are my all in all. You are the great I am. Lord, you are what we need when we need it. Lord, I thank you today for a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard our heart and you guard our mind. Father God, I thank you today that we walk by faith and not by sight. Father God, I thank you today that we will not be discouraged or dismayed by what we see. For what we see is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Proverbs 28, 1, for the righteous are bold as lions. Father God, I thank you today that we will not throw away our confidence. Our confidence is in you. Lord, I thank you today that you are my all in all. Father God, I thank you today as your words is in 1 Peter 5, 7, to cast all our cares, all our worries, all our doubts, all our fears. We give them to you, Father God, once and for all, once and for all. But Father God, we know that you care for us watchfully and you care for us affectionately. Lord, I thank you today for your word says, when we've done all that we can to stand. So this day, Father God, we stand on your word. Lord, I thank you today for heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall remain. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 15 and 7. If you abide in me, and my word abides in you. You shall ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Is there anything too hard for God? Father God, I thank you today. And Father God, your words in Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28. Come to me, all those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Father God, I thank you today that we rest in you, lean on you, and abide in you. Father God, I thank you today as your words in John 14 and 6. For you are the way, you are the truth, and you are the life. No one comes to the Father but through the Son. Father God, I thank you today that, Father God, we trust you in spite of what we see. Father God, I thank you today that we run to you from whence our help comes. We know that our help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today that you are the strong tower, rainmaker, air giver. Lord, I thank you today that you're the alpha and the omega. You are the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, I thank you today that you're the alpha and the omega. Lord, I thank you today that you are the breath of life. Lord, I thank you today that you are the branch that reached out to us. Lord, I thank you today that you are Christ, the anointed one. Lord, I thank you today that you are the consolation. Lord, I thank you today that you are the door to the sheep. For your words in John 14 and 6, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, I thank you today that you are our deliverer. Lord, I thank you today that you are El Shaddai, the all breasty one who nourishes and supplies. Lord, I thank you today that you are El Elyon, the most high God, the creator of heaven and earth. Father God, I thank you today. And Father God, we stand on your word. Father God, I thank you today as your words in John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word is with God. The word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and his name was Jesus. Lord, I thank you today that you are our all in all. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Philippians 4 and 13. I can do, we can do, you can do. All things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Lord, I thank you today that you are my rock and my salvation. Lord, I thank you today that you're an ever-present help in a time of trouble. Lord, I thank you today that when we draw nigh to you, you will draw nigh to us. Lord, I thank you today for your words as my eyes are on the sparrow. Don't you know that I'm watching out for you? Father God, I thank you today for your words as you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, I thank you today for your words in Psalms 46 and 1 that you are an ever-present help in a time of trouble. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37, 4 and 5. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Is there anything too hard for God. Believer, 
Understand with God, all things are possible. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. He lead me the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they keep us. Lord, I thank you today that your grace and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. Lord, I thank you today that our cup runneth over. Lord, I thank you today that whatever we touch shall prosper. So, Father God, I thank you today that your words are yea, though we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they keep us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 2 Timothy 1 and 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. God is on our side. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Romans 8 and 18, for this is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today for your words and when you've done all that you can to stand. So this day, Father God, I choose to stand on your word. Lord, I thank you today that I decree your word from Deuteronomy 28. The Father God, your words is if we are willing and obedient to the voice of God, that we shall be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming in and blessed coming out, that we shall be the lenders and not the borrowers. Lord, I thank you today above only and not below. Lord, I thank you today that we stand on your word, that Father God, heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall remain. Lord, I thank you today that Father God, you are the mountain mover. Lord, I thank you today that you are the yoke destroyer. Lord, I thank you today that you are the burden bearer. So Father God, I thank you today that we trust you in spite of what we see. Father God, I thank you today. But Father God, your words in Romans 8 and 37, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So Father God, I thank you today that Father God, we trust you in spite of what we see. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Psalms 37 and 23 for the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Lord, I thank you today for your divine plan, your divine purpose for your words in Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before the world was formed, I knew you, consecrated you, and set you aside for such a time as this. Lord, your words in Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, the thoughts for you. Lord, a plan to prosper for you, give you hope and give you a future. Lord, I thank you today. For Father God, your words is in Proverbs 18 and 21. For death and life are in the power of the tongue and we shall eat the fruit thereof. So this day, Father God, we speak life. We speak liberty. We speak healing. We speak reconciliation. Lord, I thank you today. The Father God is your word in Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return void, but it shall accomplish what you please. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon shall have its intended end for what the enemy has made for bad. Lord, I know you're going to turn around for our good. So, Father God, I thank you today for your words as weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning time. Lord, I thank you today for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Huh? Lord, I thank you today for your words as if we have the faith of a mustard seed to speak to our mountain. So this Day, Father God, I thank you for mountain moving faith, yoke destroying faith, blind eyes opening faith. Lord, your word says in Hebrews 11 6, for it is impossible to please God without faith. For those who come to God must first believe that He exists and believe that He is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. 
Lord, your words in Matthew 6 and 33, that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto us. Lord, I thank you for the armor. In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God that we may stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness world, and spiritual works in the high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole armor of God, that we may withstand the evil day. Having done all to stand, we stand therefore, having our loins girded about with truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which in our carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel a shower of the preparation of gospel of peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace and pursue peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we will quench all the fire darts of the wicked, and the helmet of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut to pieces the snares of the enemy by speaking the word of God for greater sin than us, than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Lord, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. And we might be the only Jesus somebody sees today. So Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine. It draws all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer says this, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it plain, Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver us, Father God, from the evil one. For thine's the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, oh, that you would bless me indeed. Don't be bashful. You have not because you ask not. Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverance that you are raising up for such a time as this, for this is our time. This is our season. Father God, I thank you today for divine hookups, increase, promotion, and favor. Lord, I thank you today that your hand rests upon us. Keep us, cover us, guide us, and lead us, Father God, in the path that you have for us to go. Lord, I thank you today for the hedge of protection of I. Lord, I thank you today that we shall not cause pain by action, word, or deed, but let everything we do give you the glory. Let it be praiseworthy and let it be honorable. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get on the highways, byways, planes, trains, and all wheels, Lord, I thank you today that we're a family of faith and not of tragedy. Right now, believe us. As I pray for my family, I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing she is. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over them. Father God, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have intended end for what the enemy has made for bad. Lord, I know you'll turn around for their good. Lord, I thank you today for the hedge of protection provided. Yeah. Lord, I pray for my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws, cover them. Lord, I pray right now for the church you give me a set of love first. I pray for every kingdom church doing kingdom business. Lord, I pray right now for the sick and the shut-in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backsided, the heathen. Lord, I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, Brothers and sisters in the military, harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local and national, give them wisdom to lead. Lord, I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, ambulance workers, Lord. I pray for our teachers and students and guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross guard workers, everyone in the school system covered, Lord. I pray for all those in the medical field today who are helping people get better. Cover them, Lord. These things, Father God, I ask. In your son Jesus' name I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 
TK, are you talking to me, sister? Oh, no, you're talking to uh, Keisha. Praise God. <laughs> all right. I love you all. Today is what day? Mm, whatever day it is, it's all good. All right. We love you. We love you. We love you. Uh, let's do change my heart. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us and make us. This is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like you. This walk of faith is a daily walk. Do not be discouraged by yesterday. Don't worry about tomorrow. All you have to do is focus on today. And if God be for you, who or what can be against you? I love you to life. Have a tremendous day. It's the only day you have. I'll be back momentarily in about 60 seconds or so. And we will jump into the game plan for life. Also on the 9th. That is Monday. We're going to start our Daniel fast. On Monday, we're going to start our Daniel fast. If you want to fast with me, let's get in the fast lane together. The Bible says some things only come through prayer and fasting. So um, looking at the outline, we have multiple kinds of fasts. Uh, some will do a Daniel fast. Some will fast other things based on dietary restrictions. Uh, but trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Trust God. Sunday, we're back to three services, 745, 945, and 1145. Sunday, we go back to our usual schedule of three services. All right. I'm going to holler at you. I'll be back in about 60 seconds, and we'll jump into the game plan. All right?